Okay. So today I'm going to teach you how to make this tool. So as you can see, you can go in here and move these sides around on this little grid. There's other ways to do it to make it totally flat too, but this is just the way I wanted to show you guys how to mess with it. You can also go into here, adjust the length, make it shorter, make it longer, make it more bisected, make it less bisected, you know, all that type of stuff. Show you how to do this real quick. It's basically going to come down to you create um, this project within Houdini, right? That is a procedural grid, a uh, grid or whatever itself within Houdini, and then you will make a HDA or an OTL based on you know what you want to call them. <coughs> and then that OTL you'll import into uh, into Unreal. Unreal reads it, the two files right between Houdini and Unreal. Um, then you can just mess with it. So this is assuming you have a project with Unreal. You need to make sure your plugins have the Houdini stuff working. Oh. So if you see the Houdini engine in your Unreal project, you know you're good to go. If you don't see it, um, the easiest way to get it actually is just to reinstall Houdini. Make sure you click uh, the Unreal part when you're installing it. Okay, so this is the Houdini project. As you can see here, whatever. we start basically with the curve. This curve, you can just draw out. So, yeah, let's just remake it here. So, we're going to make a curve. And then if we hit enter, we just draw some points. Okay. Now we have some points. Now we want to do a line. This line we'll want to make at least like five points. You know, make it like five things long. There we go. That gives us something, right? Okay. And then we'll want to do a sweep. And uh, so the second node right here is your backbone for the sweep. And so if you think about that, right, it's like a spine or something. It's what everything's then applied to and built off of. So we're going to build a line off of that spine of the, of the curve. If we go in here, and then see if we get this, right? Just, uh, just gonna That's what I did, right? Yeah, basically. <sighs> yes. Okay. So now we're gonna do another line. Or actually, I apologize. We will do a circle. And then we will do another sweep. Put this one here is the backbone. Put this here is the new thing. Okay. Yeah. Make this polygons. Make this. Then make a sweep. Um, I'll put skin right. Yeah. Okay. That's something, now, isn't it? So let's start or something. Now let's take this out. No, let's take it out. So for some reason I can't get this side to show up. Uh, There we go. So just use good blood closure, I guess. But you know, then just right off the bat, we get this simple little pipe type grid thing being built. As I said earlier, we can go in here, take it down, take it up, the line, you know, bring this down. Get 12 points. I got more stuff in here. You can also go on this curve and make stuff. You can also, um, if you don't want to be, if you don't want to like drag around um, the grid to make it fit points and scene, you can just do another line, right? And 
the sliding thing down. Five. Five. And that's even a simpler grid. So, <clears throat> I already have this material applied, but basically the way that you can apply material to it, and then it also have it show up in Unreal, is you can get your material palette in here as a starter, which is what I did. Just grab a material, drag it on, right? Then it'll show up in here, and you'll have something. And then, uh, when we create this, we'll have to create a new subnet, right? So when I create this new subnet, ah shit, you see, it's clearly the material, but that's fine, cause we didn't need that one anyways. I'm gonna call this new gray because your OTLs are tied to your hips. That's a funny statement to say out loud now, isn't it? So I chose this oxidized steel, but it's already up here, so I'm just gonna choose this one. Apply it. Now you'll see in your uh, if you go into your like tree view or whatever, your material palette, you'll have this new shader. Now the way that you can add this to your uh, your OTL is you just go to object, make material, network. Place the uh, shader that we just copied out of material into there. On here, we're gonna go to render, and then we're gonna choose object magnet oxidized steel. And then we're gonna grab both these, make a subnet out of it, call it square grid, and then we're gonna go up here, new digital asset from selection. Make sure you have it selected. Um, choose a place to save it, right? I'm gonna save mine just within my job. Square grid. Accept that. Now here's where kind of the magic happens, right? I'm just gonna close these. I don't really give a shit about these. Um, so if we have a curve, we can throw the curve into here. Um, under this editable nodes, and that's how you could uh, move it back and forth like I was doing in the other one. But where, whereas we're using just these straight uh, lines for this type of one, I will just do this instead and move this over here um, and basically just give us something to play with this is a pretty quick and dirty way to do it but it works for what I'm showing you but I would definitely get a better pipeline done I'm going to hit accept. And then I'm going to go into here and do import. Just import the square grid, right? I'm done. Then here I'll have to go 90. Okay. And then as you can see in here, we have all these options. So I didn't really label anything or, you know. Doing anything super nice, so it's gonna it would take a minute to. Let's see which one we want to mess with here. I need to start with points. There's more points. 
Is it a little longer? Make it a little smoother. Make it a little bigger. Make it a little smaller. Too small. That's it. So, just a quick little tutorial on how to make uh, these type of materials. Not too much issue. Um, if, like I said earlier, if you wanted to use a curve, you would just go into the, edit the editable mode within that issue, save it, and save it as an editable mode, and you'll get this curve, it'll show up. But for a grid like this, it, you probably don't want the curve, because the curve um, forces some issues, right? This is straight, this is not easy, easy solution to fix that straightness issue. Uh, what's another thing? If you wanted to mess with your shader, right after building in Houdini, is this is actually what I what I'm impressed about with Houdini. Well, I mean, impressed about a lot of things, but this is special. We can go into here, and then you can actually see that it kind of makes this actual shader for you, based on the shader information that you put in earlier, right? So impressive in my mind. But there you go. Let me know if you guys uh, like it or want anything else.